Supporters and loyalists of the People's Democratic Party in Igweze South local government area gather for a solidarity rally in support of Governor Ifa Ngwai. Their mission is to pledge their support to him for his re-election bid. The governor arrives at the venue as he is received by the excited crowd as their leaders take turns to reaffirm their convictions. So we know you are doing very well. Our people are seeing it. Our people are proud of you. We are happy with Ifani Uguani. And we desire that Ifani should continue as a governor. I came all the way from Lagos to partner with my people. You can see these are my people. That's why we put all the regalia of what we do outside, so that we can show presence and demonstrate our support for His Excellency. In Kwara State, some politicians from different political parties say they are now pitching their tent with the All Progressive Congress, APC. The decampees are received at the flag off of the APC campaign rally in Umuaran, where the party pledged their commitment to improve the loss of the people. A lot of them have joined us, they have come to our award meetings, but today we have some of their leaders here present. Uh, the likes of uh, Honorable Shoya Digo, it's, it's a big wig in the local government. We have um, uh, Kaudiban Kole from Ukeron local government, it's a big wig. You know, these are the people that are holding forth in, in the four local government. They are coming to the foot of APC. The wave of defection amongst politicians also found its way to the camp of the People's Democratic Party in Benway State, where a former women's leader for the APC Governorship Campaign Council announced her defection to the PDP alongside other decampees. I was the only female candidate standing in the All Progressive Congress. Suddenly, the election was zoned to my community, the APC community in Makudi. Then the the, the, the ticket was taken away and given to the Ugundu community who don't have the zoning this time around. In Sokoto State, the governorship candidate for the Social Democratic Party, Mr. Sadiq Abubakar, has vowed to deploy enough resources to combat any form of vote buying during the 2019 governorship elections in the state. I believe 100 percent ANEC will do justice and I have confidence and I will conduct free and fair election at all level. I believe that 100 percent and I believe in our security agency they will do they will do well. I am very very confident on ANEC. With all the politicking and change of gear by politicians and their supporters, the reality of all the actions will come to play at the end of the election next year, when Nigeria is expected to hold them to account on their promises.